you might foul up. In fact, you might foul up a lot. But in that, you're no different than Samson. You're no different than Peter. You're no different than anybody outside of one human being that's lived on the planet. His name was Jesus. But everybody else has fouled up when it comes to living a good life. But God sees something different in you than you see in yourself. He sees something good in you. He sees the spark of himself that he placed in every human being. For the Bible says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. You see, God saw the good in everyone. Amen. He saw the good in you. Amen. And the last thing I want to say today, that there is something good. Hello, everybody. Hello. They're coming for the baby dedication. Right. I want you to pay attention to me. The last thing that I want you to get from this message is that there is something good yes. in the person sitting next to you. Right. Some people will choose to see their failures. Some people will look at their life with regret. And they'll think about all the mistakes that they've made all the dumb decisions they've made, all the things that they regret in their life, and they will choose to believe that about themselves. But God chooses to see the little spark of good in them. You see, the trouble with the Pharisees was they always saw the bad. The trouble with religious people is they always want to look down their nose at the other people around them. They don't want to look at themselves, but they want to look at the trouble that every other person has made. They want to look at the sins that they've made, and they want to judge them, because if they judge them, it will keep the judgment off themselves. That's right. But God for the little spark of good in every person. My question to you is, what will you look for? Let's pray. Father, I thank you so much for your goodness today. And Father, most religious books would only tell the good about people would only tell about their successes and their victories. But I thank you that in your book, you told it the way it is. And you show even the best of people with all their warts, with all their faults, with all their mistakes. Jesus said it this way. He said, I didn't come for the well. I came for the sick people. Amen. But yet so many of our churches reject those who need him the most. That's right. Help me, Lord, to see the spark of good. And in reality, that spark is you. That's right. Help me to see it in every human being. And I pray this in Jesus' name.